This is Sunday Live at the Arena Hua Hin with Lee Higgins. Hey, a very, very special good morning to my guest, Henrik. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're great as always. Saturday morning, we are here. <laughs> Did you hear me? Say, did you hear me say that? You're making me feel very unfit. You're looking very, very healthy, my friend. I don't feel very healthy, but I'm okay. Really? I'm what doing you, okay. What? You haven't been training? It's, what have you been it's doing? It's been Christmas. It's been New Year. This is a time of the year where I'm taking a step back from the training. Okay. A few months of a break, and yeah. then we all need it. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you do. You can't train. No athlete trains every month, every day of the year, do they? Or so, do they? Some do on the higher level for sure, but really? I'm not on that level. <laughs> I'm just doing it because I'm enjoying it and having fun. Yeah. So tell me, you're here about uh, a big Spartan race that's happening next month, but we'll get to that in a minute because I don't know too much about Spartan racing. So you're here to tell me about what Spartan is. So Spartan is an international um, group of people that's arranging different activities with obstacles around the world. And in Hua Hin we have, or sorry, in Thailand we have two obstacle races. One is in Pattaya, mm-hmm. one is in Phuket every year. So for the last year, me and my family <clears throat> been training, uh, we have an excellent coach, Derek Russell, that's been coaching, the, he's the coach of Hua Hin, Spartan. Uh, so we practice every week with obstacles. Uh, it's a fun training, everybody helping each other. It's not extreme, it sounds extreme with Spartan, but it's not. It's about, uh, from the beginning, nobody can do, for example, the monkey bars. Mm. It's, it looks easy, but it's very hard. It took me four months to pass it. It took no. my wife eight months to really? make it. So it takes time, which is okay. Everybody have different speeds. Uh, some people is more fit. Some people just getting started. For us and for me, it's been a family thing we do with the kids, and and everybody can join. You don't need to be fit, but you tends to become quite fit after a few years because the way you train. Well, I see people. I see people in pictures, right? And they're sweating and they look fit and it looks full on. I'm thinking there is no way I'd be able to do that. Um, you can do it. Everybody can do it. It's just everybody start from different different levels. And, and when you're in a group like we have in Hua Hin, everybody, it's like a big family mm. of 20, 30 people. Okay. And you do an obstacles, and we're trying to help each other. We're sharing on each other. That's the same with the, with the race we do. Uh, you can do a 5K. You can walk around the 5K in Pattaya. And then we last time we went a group of 10 people supporting each other. And so it's, it's quite fun. It, it doesn't need to be extreme. It could be if you want it to be. Right. You can you can be the top level. We this last year we sent two two people to um, uh, Dubai for world championship. So, oh. so we have these people as well that's going extreme, but you can also have a good good time and enjoy it every Sunday, 8.30, that, that's when we train. Okay, yeah. well, let's come back and talk about the Hui Hin Spartan group here mm-hmm. and, uh, yep. in the region yep. and how many there are and give mm-hmm. us a little bit of more information mm-hmm. about that. Now, what's the club like here in Hui Hin? The club been ongoing for, I believe, several years, okay. but I've been engaging the last year. Mm-hmm. And it's a group of 20 solid members, and it's growing gradually. Uh, we're happy to get new new members, and um, uh, the location we're at, should I mention that yeah, maybe? Why it's not? on Soy 94. Okay. It's a, it's a king of Mao Thai, so mm-hmm. it's a um, Thai club, Thai boxing, which, which we've been expanding now with obstacles. So today we have roughly 13, 14 obstacles. Thanks to our coach, Derek Russell, he's been investing a lot in us <coughs> and he believes in us. Yeah. And he has a great passion uh, for Hua Hin and the Hua Hin Spartan. Uh, so it's been an amazing group and uh, yeah. So if someone's listening and wants to start their journey in Spartan racing, what would you suggest for people to do? So what they should do is we have, um, you can go there and train whenever you want. It's it's 150 baht mm-hmm. or you can join us Sunday, Sunday mornings, every Sunday, 8.30 in the morning. We will be there um, ready to rock. 
And I suppose because you've started from not doing it, you yeah. started from zero. So yeah. everybody coming to you or coming to the group would mm. are in the same boat, you know, type of thing, isn't that so right? So what we do is with we, we, the, the beginners, we put them more with the obstacle training as yeah. a start because that's the hardest part. Uh, Spartan is about um, the obstacles, but mm. also a part running. Mm. So, so when you're after a year, you're quite good at the obstacles and then you have to focus more on the running. That's mm. where I am. Okay. That's the okay. fun-ish part. Right, <laughs> the fun-ish part. <laughs> uh, so it depends on your level. So yeah, everybody can join and, and you can do it with your family, uh, with your partner. It's, it's open for everybody. But if you want to join the Hawaiian Spartan, it's Sunday 8.30. And so do most people do other type of training as well, or are they just do Spartan? Some, like me, I only do Spartan for the moment, okay. uh, once a week. Uh, some of the guys, they're doing also the CrossFit. Uh, they are more active. So it's all different levels, depending on the time, where you are in life, if, if you have time, if you don't have time. So nothing right or wrong here. And there's so many like runs and marathons around yeah. as well. Does some of your group get into that type of for fitness sure. as yeah. well? Yeah. So what we're trying to do now in, in I've been, mean, in the group for a year so what we do now now we focus on the running so we going for the primary run we're going for the huahin marathon run so this is the things we now need to push to be better right mm. well you're here today to talk about the upcoming uh i'm going to call it a grudge match between bangkok and huahin this so this is a dream we've been having in huahin spartan is to invite other spartan teams to huahin and give them a challenge <laughs> Sorry, I just have to stop you there. So you're dreaming about <laughs> Spartan racing, Henry. <laughs> when you've been when you've been training for a year, it's nice to see where you're at. Yes. To compare yourself with different groups yeah. and and also to meet new people mm. because that's that's one of the things. Uh, to be a Spartan, we are roughly four or five thousand people in Thailand, so right. it's qu it's quite big. Okay. And uh, we're trying to to get together, and in, in this race, which is one of the first one, we will actually try to make it a bit more properly. We will have a ceremony, and we will invite the public. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm sitting here today, just to tell you that everybody's welcome to have a look and maybe start to train with us. Right. Mm. And the event is happening where? Uh, at the King of Mao Thai. Okay. So in 94. Mm -hmm. And it's free for people to come along and have a look. It's free. It's free. And we also need volunteers if you would like to support us with the safety path because we're also running. It's a run that's 10K together with the obstacles. Okay. The fun part is inside uh, the facility, but we're also running outside. So if you have time and you want to support us and, and for safety, you can also let us know Volunt let me know yeah, yeah volunteer, volunteer. Yeah. Mm. and so your connection with uh bangkok group like is that something that you know you're sparring together mm. or you so, so we tend to meet each other on different races around mm. thailand in in pattaya in Phuket, and also in ratchaburi and of course it's always a bit of competitor these guys is a bit younger mm. than you who are in spartan okay they are a bit more fit but it's good fun yeah it, it's just a fun day and what we said we do this event in the evening uh, with the floodlights, with music, with DJs, and we're trying to build up a bit of, we probably have some food there, so we make a fun event. Yes. Now, I saw some photos uh, earlier this year or late last year that you were in Phuket. Mm -hmm. That was looked pretty good oh, too. that's fun. That's fun. That, that's, I said, it's 4,000 people running, having fun. That was, uh, for me, you have something called trafecta. Okay. So when you do... One race is 5K, the second one is 10K, mm -hmm. and the last one is 21K. Mm -hmm. And then it's 25, 30, 35 obstacles, depending right. on, on, on the distance. And I had one race left, and that was the beast, and that was 21K running in Pattaya. That was a hell. <laughs> <laughs> but I managed it, and after that you get three medals. You get right. the trifecta, so you get the big one. That was my oh, goal right. for last year, and I did it. Oh, well mm. done to you. Yeah. <laughs> So how does uh, someone get in contact with you if they want to come along and have a look or they want to be, a, you know, a, a volunteer? Yeah. How do so people find you? So what we you? do is uh, part of my foundation, Hawaiian Heroes, yes. is trying to support with the volunteers. So the easiest way is to go to Hawaiian Heroes and just send me an email, info at hawaiianheroes.org. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, or just give me a call. There's a number and everything on the website. Okay, and we'll put a post up on our yeah. Facebook page. You're, you're so passionate about everything you do. 
Is yeah, that right? yeah, yeah. You know, I'm doing things I like. I know you're a, you're a little bit hesitant <laughs> in yeah, answering yeah, yeah, yeah. that, but you are. Every time I meet you, you're quite an inspirational person to be next to and the things that you're involved with. And Hua Hin Heroes is part of that, isn't it? Yes, yes. And it, it, Hua Hin as a town is amazing. Mm. It's just you can do things here that's impossible to do. I'm from Sweden, which should be almost impossible to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm just happy to be here and happy to have good people like you around with Thank you. good support and, and um, the community is, is always supporting in things with people, children, activities. So mm. no, it's a happy day. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, no, you always bring mm. such positivity to when, whenever we're talking. Mm. And tell us about uh, Hua Hin Heroes. You know, you, it, you're doing some fabulous things for the children. We're, we're doing, the main thing is uh, we, we have today one, one school. It's Ban Van Khoi School. It's in the Palau area. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a few weeks ago, we had a big golf event. Mm -hmm. That's an annual event which uh, raised 1.3 million baht, which yeah. is unexpected I was overwhelmed we were almost crying on the stage because we did not expect that amount of support but we're also trying to do everything with the transparency everything we do every donations mm. we 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 um, we show uh, and the the key is to support the children Richard uh, part of the the radio channel here was mm. out yesterday and now we're going to start to build a chicken farm a new playground a new building and we give them more nutrition because of the egg and farm and mm. <coughs> they get protein yes because most of these kids they even they even got the breakfast so we will try to support them as a step one and so we have a long-term plan for these kids and try to give them a better future a bright future and uh, yeah it's oh. just been an amazing journey well well done and uh, i know you've got uh, a group of people that uh who are in heroes that are supporting all these events and mm. the projects that you're doing. Mm. Now, one more plug for the Spartan race happening next month. So it's happening on what dates? It's a Saturday and a Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's two days. So it's a Saturday. It's starting 5.30 in the evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's at Soy 94, King okay. of Mount High. And the same Sunday, it's 8.30 Sunday morning if you want to join. Well, we'll put a post up on our Facebook page mm -hmm. for where people can uh, contact you if they want to volunteer, because mm -hmm. you're looking for some volunteers. Yes, please. Yeah, yes, please. And also uh, just look at what's happening and yeah, be yeah. a part of it. Yeah, no. for sure, yeah. Everybody's welcome. We need we need good support. Yes. And uh, as, a, as a part of the Hawaiian Heroes, the, we do activities. So this is a part. We're supporting the Spartan. It's a good group of people. And we also so we're planning a bit of a bigger event next year. Ooh, are you? That, that mm. I can give you a bit hinge about. <laughs> it's we will do the announcement in three four months, but okay. we're aiming to have a quite big walking and running race in Huahin for the children. That's that's always good to have when people run because if you're not a runner, you can do it for the cause yes. for the children yes. uh, so that's coming up soon I can see the sparkle mm. in your eye Henrik mm. well mm. you'll have to start putting down those hamburgers and start training for that right <laughs> yes that's correct <laughs> okay well thank you very much for coming in this morning and thank chatting with me about the upcoming race and uh, best wishes for everything that you're doing with uh, Hui Hin Heroes you, uh, you and your team are doing a fantastic thank job thank you very much and thank you very much uh, for your support no dramas or mm. anytime anytime mm. thank you